Right, so I'm going to use, for, to start with, the Perfect Papillon or Papillon or however you want to call that. Uh, but I love this die set. Um, now, I've chosen some of that pearlescent cardstock, but I've actually took some black matte cardstock from my crafty stash. Uh, because for my solid piece, I want it to, I want it to pop. Um, so I've actually fetch, uh, brought some matte black cardstock from our collection. And then it's just a case of choosing what is it, you know, which one is it that you want to create that lovely, uh, beautiful detail. Um, and this butterfly, I think, is absolutely fabulous in the terms that um, you can just layer it up or use them separately. I mean, this is just beautiful. So that's your matte layer. That's the second. I mean, look at this blue. Even even the piece without having I mean, layering it up. The lovely Perfect. detail in there um, is just absolutely exquisite. But of course, um, the most full effect that you get is when you layer them all up together. Um, I do apologise though. I'm no, a bit of a messy crafter. I'm not sure what everybody else is like when they get in here, but I am a little messy crafter and I'm thinking see. I can see your bin so <laughs> don't wipe things on the floor Debbie put them in the bin um, no, don't worry. well as you can see I was crafting in here last till late last night and uh, the cleaner obviously hasn't been in <laughs> and I couldn't find I'll admit I couldn't find a vacuum anywhere so it's still messy for me last night so don't worry bless you yeah. so what I'm going to do Lou I like to have my butterflies I don't know about yourself but I like to have them with the wings lifted um, so rather than sticking it yeah. down flat I am just popping a little bit of glue into the centre of his body and then lifting up those uh, those wings to create that in flight um, and again I'm just going to pop a little bit down into there to show you that full effect that you get when you line this up um, and use it to its fullest potential mm -hmm. and the detail in the butterfly is just absolutely gorgeous of course you can be taking things like your bow folder and then you know giving it some extra di di uh, dimension by simply it's just beautiful it literally really looks is. like it's going to fly away yeah, I love oh. that now what I'm just doing Lou is just getting my card base Prep, prepped and ready because what I'm going to have to do is like have a little floating card. So this actually measures at seven inches by. As, no, I don't remember right. We've got a lovely ruler here. <laughs> if I remember, because I did this yesterday, this one at home. Um, six and a half by seven and a half, and scored it an inch and a half in. Uh, you can literally do this any kind of size, but I thought because I'm going to fit a couple of butterflies onto there. Um, I've chopped down one of my twelve by twelves only purely because I love this big statement butterfly on the six by six pad. It's scaled to size, so it would be a little bit smaller. But I wanted quite a nice bit of a statement butterfly there in the background mm -hmm. these colors are absolutely beautiful these papers are crying out to be distressed with inks around the edges tear them give them a little yeah, with your distress tools and give them a little bit of a, a distressed edge as well um, but I'm just going to literally just pop these bases together now I've taken a piece of acetate to match the actual piece of my card base um, and that's going to sit just in there and with that flap sticking down so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue and I'll bring in my solid tape pen for this one um, but yes, I mean, would I you think... recommend the like the tape runner rather than a wet glue on acetate? On acetate, yes, yeah. or red liner tape. Red liner tape's another good one. Yeah. Um, red glue, I use, I do use like so for this piece rather than onto the acetate, I'm going to use my tape again, or again, red liner tape or finger lift tape. Uh, that's just my pre preference. Okay. Uh, but just because it doesn't show as much on the uh, back, and wet glue can take a little bit of time sometimes on a on a more slippier because it is slippy, slippy is. surface. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just going and mat and layer and again I've chosen all these papers everything from this uh, card is used from this collection and I've just cut my strips to size just to do a little bit of matting and layering what that now does be, by adding that strip up to the bottom is just gives me the weight to hold it down because it's a yeah. tenth fold card this one um, but again just showing you lovely thing about wet glue when I use it now is means that if I do have some surplus glue I can just rub that off without Absolutely. any marks or anything on there uh, and I'm just gonna say like just literally doing a little bit of matting and layering okay. uh, but I wanted my butterfly to be able to sit onto something uh, so I'm gonna pop this one and I'm aware we're gonna have it in the middle but I've changed my mind a little bit Lou okay. that's prerogative and Absolutely, all that yeah. <laughs> Crafters can do whatever they like. <laughs> they can indeed. Now, I'm just going to bring in um, a few little um, gems. I love a little bit of a gem. I don't know about you, Lou, but oh, I like yes. a bit of a sparkle. Oh, yeah. uh, I do tend to use uh, the Unkidori um, ones quite a lot, so I just love them. But I just thought, little, just a little touch of a sparkle there. Um, so I'm going to stick this onto the uh, background of the um, acetate. Uh, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue. I'm going to use dotted tape then for this, because there's a little bit of a filigree element just mm -hmm. on the um, outside there. Um, and then I'm just gonna. We'll have all these adhesives. We'll have. Oh the, yeah. Well, I think we'll have the hunky dory gems over on craft stash as well. Things like your acetate, your basics. We've got all of that over there too. So you can literally get everything you need to create the card that Debbie's making 
here over a craft stash. So now again, I'm just popping it on the body because I do want that liftable factor again, but there's nothing to stop you from laying this down flat, keeping these flat because it looks just beautiful whichever way you do it. But I do like that little bit of um, in-flight kind of yeah. feeling going off there. Um, I have already pre-cut myself another butterfly because I was thinking, should I have another little one? But I'm like, do you know when I'm coming and ahhing? I'm like this all the time, Lou. <laughs> um, because I get a little bit carried away sometimes, never knowing when to stop. I don't know about anybody else, <laughs> but I never know when to stop. Well, because it's, not, it's because we love it so much. Yeah, and the thing is, when you've got a collection that inspires you, and literally my creative juices could not stop a flowing with this one, I just absolutely love it. So I'm just going to tuck that underneath oh, wow. and have a couple onto there. I just need to have myself another little gem just round his um, little head there, just to give it a little bit of a match. Uh, but I'm going to stick this one down a little bit flatter, this one. Mm -hmm. There you go, Lou. I mean, that's a real bargain, it really is. So from the inside of the card, that lovely floating element with that acetate and it's a tent card where it will stand up really pretty and proud um, and then the lovely butterfly wings that of course when you don't stick down create that lovely almost like so pretty. Pretty. Um and then using some of the elements in the background using that opulent frame just in the background the ribbons the tags the sentiments you can create yourself some really beautiful uh, kind of cards like look how I just honestly I love this collection Sorry.